I just want to say I, I'm really a fan of Spencer Smith. He's an independent Baptist social media kind of guy, YouTuber especially. He's written a book called Doctrine Matters and um, uh, and uh, is big on Third Adam series is a series of, uh, of documentary type movies that he has made, which I think are, are good um, and, um, and profitable. Uh, so I've been, I want to say I really do enjoy him. I have um, made a video yesterday response of uh, something that he said. Then I'm going to do that again today. He, he wrote and said, I am loyal to the book. He says, I'm loyal not to any paper or any college or any um, movement, uh, but I am loyal to the truth. Or he said, I am loyal to the truth and I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. And uh, to which I can hardly say amen. I agree completely with that. One of the comments the guy says uh, to him, you know, the Protestant confessions uh, give guide rails to faith because the Bible is such a big book. And uh, now I do understand that it is possible for a person to say, I am loyal to the truth. And for that to mean that he's not loyal to any doctrinal stand or position, that he's not loyal to any um, any 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 specific line of truth that he just you know and I think Spencer has a little bit of that he fellowships with the fellowship isn't the right word he's got friends who are of all sorts of denominational and background doctrinal backgrounds and which I think is also good a person be, needs to be able to reach people and uh, Spencer Smith seems to have no problem whatsoever saying what he believes so that isn't an issue but here's the thing about truth I'm gonna say well it's a big book well the Bible is a big book but you know we've got 2,000 years worth of, um, of uh, study and preaching and doctrinal uh, intensity to settle us on what is doctrinal truth and to set those guide, guidelines. We don't need to have some kind of written confession or at least especially one that's by some kind of denomination. So a Presbyterian denomination or, you know, even a Baptist denomination. We don't need, we don't need any kind of uh, confession or uh, anything of that nature to, to hold us to or to be loyal to. What we are loyal to is to the truth. We do need also, I think, to make sure that we um, are not isolationists, that we have um, uh, that we have a set of friends, that we uh, people that we trust in the in, and that that when we start to kind of um, stray doctrinally, that we can um, uh, you know heed their warnings if they start feeling like they they sense, hey, you know that's get, you might be getting off on this thing. That's at least a, a sign an indicator that we need to back off and reevaluate and relook. But there's so much information. You know, the Sir Spurgeon's, the sermons of Spurgeon, and uh, you know uh, Matthew Henry and and John Gill and, and and you know there's so much material out there that is written that's from the past. And besides that, you know, we've got doctrinal statements of believers for you know two thousand years. There is no reason whatsoever for a person to get um, uh, to have to be loyal to some some group in order to be loyal to the Lord Jesus Christ or to truth.